So in this video, I'm going to talk about using the MPC Live 3 within Logic. So we want to pull some sound off the MPC Live 3 through the USB-C cable. So normally I have a template, so it's my template here. I'll pull this up. And you can see automatically I got my template. You see my voice coming through there. And if my tracks are correct, I'll just dump them in. So always make a template. And we're going to make a template right now. We're going to close this out and show you how it's done. So first I want to do is I want to come here and press new. I select new. I got audio tracks right here. So I want to make sure I got ascending, input, monitoring, and record enabled. And I'm going to press right here. And the input there says bus, right? No other selection I can make. I can call the input here. It's only one input. So I'll go to input one. And now I will come to here and I want to create, let's see, 16. I'm going to create 24 actually. 24 tracks. Create. Now they're created. And they're all right here. Down here to 22, right? And so. We're good. So next, what I need to do actually is get this thing going on with the MPC. I'm gonna go over here to where it says Logic Pro. I'll go to settings and I'll go to audio. I wanna make sure the MPC is being seen. So I'm gonna go here and go into, that's the output. Let's go to input. There it is, MPC input, perfect. And for my output, I'm gonna use this right here. Yep, I should be good like this. And that's my input. Now it'll recognize my 24 inputs. I also see that here in the I.O. I click down here. Oh, there's 16 right there, right? I come to here. Oh, there's 16 down here, right? Let's go back up here now. Close this out. Now I got my MPC Live on. So I want to make sure what I can do here is see everything as I run it through. So I'm going to press X. X pulls up my mixing console. Everything's right here. Now you see it says one, two, whatever. So I'm going to go back to here first. I'm going to make sure they're all off. There you go. Now I would come in here. I'm going to make sure. See that? It's mono. This is going to be two. This will be three and so on. Four. Five. Six. Let's take forever. Seven. I'll speed it up. I'll speed the tape up and we'll get to that point next. 23 and 24 is right here. Right there, 24. So we've got 24 tracks available. All right, that's pretty cool. So next what I want to do, probably a mix of all selected. I'd like to probably, select like this is one. Here's 24. They're all selected. I'm going to put on the record button. They're all on record. Great. And then put monitors on. I can drag them down, get some levels right here, right? And so this is how I would have my template set up. Now this is where I can take on 24 tracks directly from my MPC Live 3. And next I'll go to my MPC Live 3. So you see it right here in our lesson plan. I'm gonna come to here actually and it's sort of big it up. Matter of fact, let's do this first. There you go. It's right there in front of us. Excellent. And so now what I wanna do, I'm gonna go to my MPC Live 3. Got my tracks going on. You can't hear nothing yet, right? So I'm gonna go here. I wanna get these 16 pads to go into my Logic Pro software. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go into the mixer. Right, I'll type the mixer again. And now we got the input of all these pads going out, right? I'm hitting these sounds here. And we have nothing going on inside our MPC. That's going into Logic. So we're gonna go to here and press IO. And now it says track. I'm gonna go to here. And this is one. So we're going to go here and we're going to USB one. Next one is going to be USB output two. Right. 
three. Six, seven, right here, and eight. Eight's right there. Perfect. And I got these pants lined up. So let's go back to here. Let's go back to sharing this. And go to here. And, and we can see it right here. Perfect, it's all right there. So it sounds pretty loud. So I'm gonna go back here, just one, press the volume here. So I can control my volume from right here inside the software on my MPC. Our input's locked in. This is good. I can track more tracks out, give you an idea of what's going on right here. It's pretty simple. You want to make sure we got a USB output set up and we're going directly into the software. As you can see, it's happening right now. But what I want to do next, I'd like to get it humping to the right point. So for example here, also, make sure everything's not, see that? Now. There we go, and everything set it up. Now I'll press stop on my MPC. What we want to do right now, what we really want to do is lock this up. So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to MIDI. You want some MIDI? We're going to lock this thing up. You want to make sure we can synchronize everything here. So here's MIDI right here. Here's control services right there. We have automation, but we want to be here in MIDI. While we're here in MIDI, I want to go to sync. I need to sync this whole thing up. Cool. And I come here to MIDI sync project settings. Now, once I get here, I want to make sure we're locked in for the MIDI idea. Of course, that's MIDI sync. And so, as you can see right here, I go to MIDI. Is that MIDI filter? I need synchronization though, more than anything else. So, I want to come to here and choose my syncing. So, I'm in my syncing point is going to be one. And I'm going to click here for the clock, here, here, and here. And I'm going to try to hit plus play here. Now, Logic is controlling my MPC Live. And you can see it right here. Let's go to here. Oops, oh, so let's go back to here. Maxi and zoom. That's how my zoom lesson would be. There we go. I drag this out. Now, you got to make sure you're in the right sync, the right tempo. My tempo really should be like 128. There you go, 128, perfect. And now, I'm just going to close this out of here. I can come to here, I can put this in record. Here, it's taken from 16. I don't want that. Let's say, nope. Don't need that. Don't show it again. Click this out of this. All right, cool. Don't show. And next, I want to go back to the top. Right here. And start off from here. See, we're recording. That's how simple that is. I press stop. And we're playing back. I'm still in sync. You can see the MPC is still rolling right here. Matter of fact, let's blow it up. Boom, there it is right there. And my screen's right here. And I'm going to press stop. Right here. And that's it. It's that easy. Now, once you get it done, just save your template. So when you saw my template, all I did was save it. Before I did all this stuff here, I just saved it. Any questions? Here's a, 
Any question, hit us up at SalmaKings.com, and I'll see you in the next video.